jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be giving you a huge Christmas haul of some Christmas decorations that I've bought over the past like two months. Um, ever since stores started putting out Christmas decorations, if I saw something I liked, I just bought it. Like I don't have any self-control. I can't wait. So I just have been buying all of this and like putting it in my storage closet and I'm pulling it all out and I was like, you know what? It would be fun to like show you guys what I've got. So everything I'm about to show you is new and it'll be my first time putting it out and decorating with it this year. And I'm excited to open the things from Hobby Lobby because they've been wrapped up. So it's gonna feel like a Christmas morning of Christmas items. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the things that aren't in bags, I guess. And I got these. I also got these and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them at first. I just love red, white, and green. And here recently, like a couple weeks ago, I got this new mirror and I think I'm gonna drape them along it. I know this is like a Christmas haul video, but I just wanna show you my vision real quick. Okay, back to the video. I'm gonna have to try really hard not to get up and show you guys my vision the whole time. Also, these aren't staying there. I just put them there for like a Christmas vibe in the background. So I also got this from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna give you guys prices too, just in case you're interested. So this is $4, but half off, so $2. This was $6, $2.99, $4.99, Okay, this I got on vacation. We went like six, maybe five months ago now. We went to the mountains and we found this Christmas shop and it was like this little colonial house and it was so pretty and I didn't want to leave without getting something so I got this for $2.99 and I think this came from Hobby Lobby also it was $2.99 if it didn't come from Hobby Lobby it came from Walmart I ordered this um there's I have a Christmas account called Christmas.Lane on TikTok and this woman made these things called knobbies and they're amazing. They have these little rubber grips that go into your kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets, anything with a knob. And they're so cute. So I got some of those to put on my kitchen this year because I do peppermint candy cane theme in my kitchen. So those are gonna be perfect. So the first thing I got and it says, believe in the magic of Christmas. And I got this that says merry and bright. It's so cute. And um, I have a collage wall, as you can see, and I'm gonna take all of that down at Christmas because it kind of clashes with my like whimsical red, white, and green Christmas decor that I do in my living room. And I'm gonna hang things like this up on my wall instead. I also got this ornament from Pop Shelf. This was $1. And I got these ornaments. They're like red, silver, and blue, green. I'm trying to do a Christmas tree in our game room this year that is like a nostalgic feel to it. That's why I got some like random mix match ornaments because like, I don't know about you, but growing up our Christmas trees were just like ornaments that we collected throughout the years. So I'm trying to like buy ornaments that don't look like as well put together, but I'm doing it on purpose. The last two things I got from Pop Shelf are these, they say Merry Christmas. This one was $1 and so was this one yeah i'm just now realizing i have a lot of things that say merry christmas on it but oh well. okay these next things are from walmart and walmart has a really nice christmas selection like in their like dollar spot so this was 198 i think it would look really good in my kitchen because like i said i do like peppermint themes so red and white i got this 298 I think some of these are supposed to be my room at my mom's because my like style in my childhood bedroom is like a cottage theme. So I'm using more like muted colors like brown, burgundy, and dark green. See, like I told you, I have so many things that say Merry Christmas. Once again, Merry Christmas. This also is supposed to go to my mom's because as you can see, I don't know, something about it just makes me think like vintage. It's like, rusty metal effect. I got this for my living room Christmas tree. 
and I got this. I think this will also go to my room at my mom's house. This was 98 cent. So the next few things that I got are from our Gabe's store, but they had just bought out our old time pottery. So some of these things are basically old time pottery items. So my tree that I do in my living room is like red, white, green, like whimsical Christmas, like kind of this theme. And I love that for the past two years, but I want to do something more like vintage. Like I want to make it vintage while keeping it red, white, and green. So I got these ornaments to add to it. So it'll keep the same like theme, but changing the vibe a little bit to like more vintage and nostalgic. That's what I'm hoping it's gonna do. We'll see how it looks though. And some of the other things that I got from Gabe's were these cute little trees. This was $2.49, this one was $5. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear off all of the things on my cubicles and I'll put things like this on my shelves. I also got this for $4. It says I'm dreaming of a wine Christmas. I'm gonna put this on my little bar cart. These next things are from the Dollar Tree. I got some of these doorknob bells. I got three of them. They're peppermint, like I said. That's the theme that I go for. I have some of these from like two years ago, but they're like red and green. So I was really happy to see these in there this year. Also from the Dollar Tree, I got this candle holder and it was $3 and I'll be putting this in the kitchen too. And I think these came from Pop Shelf. Pretty sure I got this really beautiful candle and it smells so good. It says frosted spruce and it smells like spruce, but something else, like almost like a berry smell. It smells like my childhood Christmas though. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to burn this. I'm putting this in my bedroom because I do Winter Wonderland theme in there. And I also got this for the bedroom. This was $5 and this was seven. I got these at TJ Maxx. They're these tape dispensers and I go through these like crazy when I'm wrapping presents. I'm doing a gift wrapping video also at some point. And I thought these would be cute to use in the video because they're Christmassy, duh. I got these from Walmart. I already took the price tag off of them. I think they were like $9, but I got two of them. They look very similar to our stockings the last two years, but they were more of like a muted red and green. So I wanted to make them a little bit brighter and I have to sew our initials into them because that's what I did with our stockings last year. And it just adds a nice personal touch to them. I got these at Walmart for $2.98. Usually I can only ever find bows that are red, green, and gold, but these are red, green, white, and peppermint. I am obsessed and I probably should have got two bags honestly because I like I'm obsessed with bows. I got these to put on our Christmas tree this year to like try and make it look more of like a nostalgic tree. These are from the Dollar Tree so $125. I got these from a bargain bin store. It's like an overstock. They get a bunch of like Amazon returns and stuff like that and I got these for $2. Here's all the stuff I've shown you guys so far. And here's what we have left to go. I think I'm gonna open up some of these. Okay, so I just opened the first one and I have two Merry Christmas. I'm not sure why. I don't know what was going through my head. These things I bought like I think two months ago. So I have no idea why I have two of them. I have so many things that say Merry Christmas. I really don't know what I was thinking. Okay, the next thing. Oh, these are cute. So it says ho ho. This one says ho ho ho. And this one says believe in the magic. So these are probably gonna go on my cubicles right there. And next, also probably for my shelves. I love things like this that I can just like put around the house for little hints of Christmas. This one says Santa mail, and, and this is like a letter to Santa, so these might be cute together. And then I got this. I really loved this because I've always wanted to like incorporate like nativity scenes and like Jesus into my Christmas decor, 
but none of it ever matches my like red white and green theme it's usually always like browns and tans and muted colors so I was really happy to find something that would like go with my theme and not like stand out I know I said I was going to tell you the price for some of these things and I've completely forgot so I'm sorry so this says comfy and cozy are we I'm probably going to hang this up in the bedroom I, f I was looking for this today. Um, this was supposed to go in my room at my mom's. It's so cute. I got this to go in the Winter Wonderland bedroom. OMG, this is so cute. It says, tis the season for bank, not banking, baking. Tis the season for baking. I am probably gonna put this like um on the top of my oven, like, over the clock. I just think that would be really cute. This is the last Hobby Lobby bag. I got two of these to go on the nightstands in our bedroom. OMG, this is so cute. It says it's not Christmas without cookies. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, this came from Hobby Lobby. This was only $10 and half off, so five bucks for this. Okay, so this is the very last bag that I have. It's kind of underwhelming, so sorry about that. I should have done this one first. So this is from the Dollar Tree, also going in the bedroom. And this also from the Dollar Tree. I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I love how sparkly it was. So the very last thing are these stockings. I have two more in the bag, but they look just like this. These were originally three dollars but they were at gabe's for 79 cents i'm not lying 79 cents like that's crazy so that's why i got um three of them i'm probably just gonna take these to my mom's and use them as like decoration so that's everything um i hope you guys enjoyed watching this and i can't wait to put all of these up for christmas and i'll be filming that and posting a decorating for christmas video so be on the lookout for that if you're interested and thank you so much for watching